what we're going to be going over here is the sales budget and we'll be going through an example on how we'd be setting up and calculating our sales budget. So where does the sales budget fit in here under our uh, various budgets that we're going to look at? So the company starts out with a master budget here and then the master budget is split up between the operating budget and the financial budget. And under our operating budget, the first budget we have to develop is the sales budget here because all our other budgets here for the operating uh, budget depend on our sales budget for the numbers that we're going to develop. And along with our sales budget, we also have our revenues or collections here from our sales and those fall under the financial budget. And then those collections here are really go into our cash budget here under a financial budget. So for what we have to do here with our budgeting, we have to determine our sales budget here under the operating budget and also the revenues or collections here on sales here and those go into the cash budget. Okay, and then along with our relationship here for under our operating budget, we have our sales budget and then that's split up between our production budget and then our selling and administration budget. And then under our production budgets, we have direct material, direct labor and factory overhead budgets. And those all go into the ending inventory budget. And then the ending inventory budget along with all our other amounts here go into our cost of goods sold budget which flows into the income statement. So you see the, re the relationship here of our sales budget to all the other budgets that we have to develop here in, under our operating budget which is again part of the master budget here. Okay so looking at our sales budget here and our collections. So first for our sales budget let's just go up and look at that. Uh, that would be our budgeted sales dollars here really equal the budgeted unit sales times our budgeted sales prices here less any sales discounts and we get down to our net sales. So this is what we're going to be looking at here for our budget. And then for our sales budget for our cash collections that for the current period cash collections we'll look at that. That equals the current period cash sales plus the current period credit sales that are collected plus the prior period credit sales that are collected. So that's going to equal our total cash collections for the period. So these are the two things we're going to be looking at here. Setting up our sales budget for determining what our net sales are as a budgeted amount and also our total cash collections here as a budgeted amount. Okay, now let's go through our problem here, looking at our sales budget and how we calculate it and set it up. So for our sales budget, it would be based on forecasted budgeted estimates here that you're going to be estimating here. And we'll look at it in just terms of a single product, but you'd have to do it for all your products here within the company here. And we'll also look at it in terms of a single month here, looking at how we'd set up that budget here for a single month. But remember with uh, uh, these budgets here, you're going to be uh, looking at them on a monthly, quarterly and yearly basis. So uh, f first thing typical that you'd have to do here for your sales budget, you're going to have to know your sales price on a per unit basis here and in this case it's $100. And then our sales here, we've got estimated here based on historical amounts, 50% cash and 50% are credit sales. And then the collections, again this is historical amounts, 80% of the, of the credit sales uh, are collected here in the month of sale. 18% here in the following month, 2% are uncollectible, and we give a 1% discount here, a cash discount essentially, if they pay within the first month of the sale here. Okay, so those are our uh, figures that we're going to work with here for our sales figures. Now for our unit sales, we'd ha we are forecasting those here for each of our months here, and I've got them shown here for each of the months, but we'll just be looking at... Uh, March, month of March here. We have 11,000 here in unit sales and we're also going to be using the February unit sales that we have estimated here at 10,000 uh, 10, units. Okay, so there we'd have to forecast our unit sales here for each of the products that we'd be looking at. Again, we're just going to be looking at a single product. And then moving over here are the assumptions that are made here for the master budget and for the per budgeting period here. First, sales prices are constant. Secondly, variable costs on a per unit basis are constant. Thirdly, the fixed costs are constant. And fourth, our sales mix is constant. So we have to have some assumptions here for our master budget and that's really uh, what entails our sales budget here as well. Okay, all right. So first here for our sales budget as our budgeted sales, again, that equals our budgeted unit sales times our budgeted sales prices 
less any sales count uh, sales discounts that equals our net sales okay so for our example here for our sales budget and we'll just be looking at this month of March here the period this one month period again for our sales uh, quantity here we had in March is 11,000 here. Quantity we're going to sell times $100 here. Selling price that uh, sales are budgeted in for $1,100,000. And then we'd have to subtract out our cash discounts here. So for our cash sales, we have the, those sales that we're budgeting here at 1100000 times it's going to be a half a percent here because for cash sales we're going to have a 50 percent of the sales are cash sales and then we offer that one percent discount if paid again within that 30 days so that gives us a half a percent here times one million one hundred thousand so our sale cash sales discounts are going to be five thousand five hundred dollars now for our credit sales again we use our sales that we're budgeting here at one million one hundred thousand times uh, we're also going to have what we collect on our credit sales here for our cash discounts, our lesser cash discount. We have 50% here, our credit sales, times 80% here. Those are the credit sales for the month here that uh, we collect here, times that 1% discount. That gives us really four tenths of a percent here. Uh, so that times our credits, our total sales here budgeted for the month gives us amount here $4,400. So subtracting out our cash sale discount here and our credit sales discount from our sales amount here we're budgeted, we're going to come up with net sales budgeted for the month here at $1,090,100. Okay, so that's how we go about setting up our sales budget here. And we did it on a monthly basis. And again, you'd have to do it for each of your products in the fashion that we've done. Okay, next thing here. So for our sales budget, our cash collections. So, and then this is for the current period cash collections that we'd be looking at. That equals our current period cash sales plus our current period credit sales collected plus our prior period credit sales that are collected. That equals our total cash collections. Okay, so moving over here. So we go about it doing it in this fashion. And of course we're doing it again just for that month of March here the cash collections that we have. So for the current period here, our cash sales, that was that our sales that we budgeted at 1100000 here times our cash sales, we estimate we're going to have 50% our cash sales for the month here times 99% we're going to be able to collect here because we're offering also that 1% cash discount. So times 99% here, that's going to give us 49.5% times our total cash sales budgeted uh, it's going to give us $544,500. Now for our credit sales, again, take our total budgeted sales at $1,100,000 times, in this case, it's going to be 39.6%. Because for our credit sales, again, we're estimating 50% uh, of those are credit sales. And then 80% here are collected during the are collected for for the month here times and we're only going to be able to uh, we've got offer that one percent discount so we end up with 99 percent here the total sales so that gives us 39.6 percent and times our total credits our total sales here of one million one hundred thousand is four hundred thirty five thousand six hundred dollars so totaling those two amounts our total uh, for our current period sales here is nine hundred eighty thousand one hundred dollars okay so now we also have to take care of that prior period here because we have uh, collections here for the prior period and that's that instead of three one here we move back to uh, February 1st or two one here so uh, our credit sales on on two one here we have to go we'd have to go up to our account our account here but we're looking at uh, uh, ten thousand we have ten thousand sales here budgeted for two one here take that times the hundred dollars here per unit so that's going to give us one million dollars here and then uh, for our credit sales uh, 50 percent here are credit sales here and uh, that was for that month uh, month of February here again 50 percent are credit sales but the 18 percent here so 18 percent was it the following month here we talked about the following month but that was uh, two one here we have to move that back here to uh, the previous month really we're looking at that was that 18% are collected here based on that previous month and that gives us 9% times a million dollars here is $90,000 so our total cash collections here are uh, what we have here for the current period at $980,100 plus 
uh, the prior period here of 90,000 gives us total cash collections of one million seventy thousand dollars. Okay, so this is pretty much how you'd have to go through your um, for your sales budget. So just remember here, moving back here, you're going to have to determine your sales budget, the total sales here in dollars here, the budgeted sales dollars here, and come up with the net sales here after you have your sales discounts taken and then you also have to look at the sales those cash collections here because that goes into your uh, cash uh, your cash budget here so with the sales you have to determine both both here your units are your unit sales and sales dollars because the other uh, budgets are going to be based off this sales budget here at least in quantities here and then uh, you also have to know those cash collections here for your sale your sales budget here because that goes into your uh, cash uh, budget here under the uh, under the uh, other section of the budget so you had that operating section and then you had the other section here for your budget so you have to determine your cash sales and that other uh, section here was the financial budget so this cash collections are needed for the financial budget and these other in your budgeted amounts here your sales budget amounts those were needed for the operating budget okay so that'll pretty much summarize what we're talking about here going through a typical example here for a sales budget